Hello, my name is Chase Sheely, and I want to talk to you about my business plan for a business me and my wife are starting, a travel photography and blog business called The Burning Daylight. Our names are Chase and Tiffany Sheely, and we are starting this business to combine our two passions. My wife loves writing and I love photography. We both love to travel with our two children and want to share our passions with others in the hopes that it informs, entertains, or helps give them the push they need to get out and travel the world as well. We've been married for almost 14 years and our children are 10 and eight. We have dreamed of owning our business for a few years and are excited for the potential that the burning daylight holds. Our business will encompass many opportunities within the photography and writing fields. One aspect will revolve around travel articles. Our plan is to come up with article ideas, go take the pictures that are relevant to the article, then my wife will write the article and we will submit the completed product to multiple magazines and blogs companies. Even if we are not successful there, my wife will post the articles to our own blog. We have traveled for years and she has always researched for months in advance using other people's blogs and we want our blog to be the one people go to for research. As far as photography goes, I will take photos for the articles, but will also sell them. I currently sell photography on multiple stock sites. We also understand the importance of social media and the opportunity that exists there once we build our follower base. The mission of our company is to show that family travel is never out of reach. If your children are little for a short time, you'll never regret taking the trip and making the memories. Our vision for the future is to create content that entertains, informs, and convinces families or individuals to travel. Traveling is one of the most enriching things we can do in life. So if we can help others have the experiences as well, we'll happily do it. Our core products and services are photography and corresponding articles. We are selling the love of travel through pictures, experiences, and words. The customer would be magazines, newspapers, and our own blog, and individuals looking for traveling tips or escapism through photography. When the pictures are combined with articles, this product either gives a customer insight and knowledge of an area of the world they would like to visit or allows them to imagine themselves there as a way to escape reality for a few minutes. We're going to focus mainly on getting our blog up and running and building a social media presence. My wife is going to be posting daily to our two Instagram pages and twice a week on our blog. My daughter also loves to write and wants to be able to have a Chloe's take every once in a while on the blog. This will offer more than just a viewpoint of my wife and add a fun child's take on our vacation spots. All of our blog posts will be pinned to Pinterest because it has massive potential for growth with our company. We are currently going to take this time to learn how, to, how YouTube works as well. When we reach out to campgrounds and magazines starting next summer, we need to have blog and photography examples to show them and prove that we are worth working with. Our company goal is to constantly try and drive people to our website because that's where most of our potential for success lies. The main money maker is going to be the website for multiple reasons. We're going to integrate Google AdSense and make money off traffic to the website blog. It's hard to know how much that is going to be because it pays on traffic. Um, I will also be selling my photography across multiple stock sites and art sites. We plan on selling merchandise on the website as well with our logo on it. YouTube also has potential revenue with ads. Our biggest focus will be building our social media presence for all of these reasons. Startup costs. We currently own our camper, so we don't have to worry about payments on our office space. Rent of about $5,000 is the cost of an elite prepaid membership through Thousand Trails uh, campgrounds for a year. Then our insurance cost for the entire year is $1,500. The inventory equipment we'll need is around $5,500. For marketing, our website will be the hub of our business, which will be the main cost. Operating costs, the second year we will need to renew our membership, which is only $650 for a year after the initial investment. Insurance is around $1,500 a year for the camper. Operating costs will be minimal. Projected revenue, a startup blog averages between $25,000 and $50,000 in the first year, and a photographer makes around $30,000 to $40,000.
I took the lower end of both and came up with 55000 that initial year. Then when I looked at the second year for both businesses, a blog tends to make around hundred grand for the second year and a photographer will make around 60000 I again went with the cautious route and put both less than averages and came up with 100000 during the second year. If all goes to plan, we'll make around 29000 at the end of the first year and 89000 at the end of the second. For a brief overview of our SWOT analysis, some of our strengths are we have the means to travel for a year. Our family's on board with it, which is a plus. Um, my wife has a passion for writing and an English degree, and I have a passion for photography. Opportunity, there's currently more blog readers than there are blogs, and we see a lot of growth in Pinterest. Some of the weaknesses are that we are starting from scratch. We don't have a big portfolio yet of blogs or photos. Some of the threats are everybody can really take a photo nowadays with their camera. You know, social media could go down, camper could break down. These are some of the threats we see for the first year. In order to ensure that our business remains successful and prosperous, we'll do a few things. First, we'll do an assessment at the end of each month of which blog posts and pictures were the most successful and how we can emulate them in the future posts. Second, we will pay attention to current trends in the country and how we can incorporate them into our travels. We will be interacting with people who follow our pages and making sure to ask their opinions at times on what we could see or do in a specific area so they feel a part of our travels. Third, we plan on keeping track of our income at the end of each month and where it came from. We plan to watch the profits from each one in order to see where we should put the bulk of our energy. Thank you for taking the time to read a little bit about our business and goals and that we would love to achieve and um, appreciate it. Thank you.